Hey guys, what's up? Mickey here back in another video, and today we're going to be playing Dream Daddy Part. It's either two or three, I can't remember. I'm sure I'll put it in as a title. Anywho, guys, if you... Uh, let's get started, sorry. So, time to do some voices. <clears throat> we pull up we pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mowed and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack for, I need pack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you, did you even see all the dogs in the nearby park? Oh, yeah. I don't drink coffee, so definitely not gonna put that. As much as I love dogs, we're on the topic of getting food and being in a new house. So of course, I'm gonna put weed on pack for it. As much as I would hope, also like to enjoy a delicious and healthy ice cream sando right now. We got a lot of work to do, kiddo. And we need to make it snappy because there are five sealed crates of DVD box sets blocking off the bathroom and I gotta pee real badly. Well, don't let the entire cast of all 13 seasons of Shark Tank, but with actual sharks standing your way, let's get to it. I love doing voices. I'm a small voice actor. I can do impersonations. Mm. If I see a character with no voice, I just go on and put my own voice on it. I'll do some videos on that. I should probably do that on, like, on some Thursdays or some Saturdays. So yes, I've watched Mark, I mean not Mark, well I've watched Mark, but I've watched Jack play the entire game. Interesting. And I love it. <clears throat> I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get to some good work, and I get some good work done. The washer slash dryer unit is both washing and drying. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it, scared. Hello, don't know who it is. Oh, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot his name, oh, Joseph. A handsome clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Oh shit, I need a voice. <clears throat> Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. That's so bad. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Mark. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van, and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked, she baked them herself. I can't English. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between me and you, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> I, I'm a female. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her a plate of, of hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <clears throat> well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. I can't do a male voice. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I can't do a male voice. <clears throat> I heard that. I mean, they'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh. Uh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already, is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Is there a misuse around? What the fuck is that? Oh, Mrs. Mister, actually. And there. Uh, no. Not, not anymore. <clears throat> he died. Oh. Um, sorry guys. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> My guy, please laugh at me. <laughs> no, no. It's alright. Wow. This is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. <clears throat> I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look of, I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh, Lord have mercy, this man. <clears throat> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk to you about your dead spouse this time. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I'm throwing a barbecue for the coldest second. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Who says that? That sounds great. My daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount for, of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a sec and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Are you winking? Joseph, stop winking. You're naughty. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in her hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <clears throat> they're, uh, they're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes it feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyways? <laughs> I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Let's get some fresh air. I could use some coffee. Your Joseph probably wants his plate back. Uh, I'm sorry, Joseph. Let's hit that park down the road. I saw a ton of dogs there we, we, when we drove past. Okay, will you help me steal a dog? For the last time, I can't fit a dog into the pockets of my cargo shorts. It's physically impossible. You're breaking my heart, Pops. I like the using that kind of a voice for Amanda. I kind of like an angsty teen kind of thing, but like more of like, outgoing kind of thing. I have samples of my voice acting skills on my phone that I can pull up, you know? <coughs> my throat hurts from doing this. Thanks, kiddo. My little boy was with me, by the way. <clears throat> Amanda and I began, oh, begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing on the street, the flowers are in bloom, and a faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. <clears throat> you can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? Government operative. I don't think that's the word. We're on to you, baby. <sighs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes run through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make, we start to make our way over there when... 
Heads up. Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. With a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Not to tell I'll, I'll be nice. <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh God, this is the cutest dog. Wait, guys, I'm letting y'all know right now, I love dogs. In part upon me, your wisdom, tiny dog. Oh, woof, woof. I'm not doing that. <laughs> What's that? I'm already too late. My fit was whatever that word is for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. Arf, arf. You're right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Arf. <clears throat> you definitely could have caught that. I can't remember this. I think this is Brian. Yep, I think that's his name. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to me and takes the frisbee from me. Oh, over to us. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. <clears throat> it's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I knew it was Brian. I'm Mark. And this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. Brian, I don't know if I'll do a voice for you. <clears throat> it's great to see another father and daughter out here on us. On such a sunny day. Fuck. Where's yours? Mm. Brian gestures over to the grassy knoll, where a young girl sits on the check, the checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers. Oh Jesus Christ! <clears throat> her teacher, her teacher, tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a little youngster. <laughs> Leave me alone. Sorry if I can't say words correctly. Whoa. My natural dad instincts kicked in. I must break up my child's accomplishments. Oh no. It's happening. <laughs> huh? Go on, Daisy. Tell me about yourself. Um. I, that's my girl, Amanda, get in there, okay, okay, Mark's HP, Brian's HP, they're both at 80, ooh, brag, Amanda here just recently won a local photography award, wow, congratulations, oh no, Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Oh. All right, Brian. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. <clears throat> Dad. Dad. Awesome grade. Ah, I'm sorry, Brian. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose five HP. Daisy just started. Oh, pfft. Daisy just started. A weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang. My high school didn't even have a chess club. Or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Mark's HP, 50. Brian's HP, 45. <clears throat> Let's DHR. Last week, unpromoted, Amanda helped, her, helped an old woman with her grocery bags. 
It's extremely powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy's old enough. Candy bars this year to get the top prize. I'm gonna. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You, you, you lose 20 HP. We have 30. Brian has 25. Let's do this, guys. Mm, brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors class this semester. Lose 10. Whew, we're good. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her see up a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristled out that one. You lose 20 HP. Oh, we have 10 and 15. Uh, item. You unfurl your wallet to re- reveal a tiny copy of the drawing of a couple of... Uh, Brian, cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda generally, uh, gen- uh, generally appreciates you holding on to it. Uh, Brian loses 10 HP. You were getting 20 HP! Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy? Amanda was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10. We have 20, and he has 5. Guys, we're about to win. One more brag. A few months back, Amanda started voting at the, volunteering at the homeless shelter in our neighborhood, in our old neighborhood. Loses 10 HP. I think got him on the ropes. You two seem to have like, such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Arr, what is your Mr. Good Loser? That was pretty fun. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live on the colder side. Down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up more any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in the trove. Do you get the feeling that he is trying to one-up us? Trying and succeeding? I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shit, that didn't pan out. Could have majored in competitive horse study. Yep, that's the word. F you guys. It's not too late to minor a horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. <sighs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Worthington the, the Brave, an epic in part in seven parts by Amanda McDad. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Mm, let's go to the coffee shop. I don't really like. Mm, I'm gonna go to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice cup of coffee. Of the old bean juice. I'm going to be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Oh, <clears throat> let's do it. Now, as much as I don't like coffee, let's hurry up and get uh, my dad some coffee so he can be somewhat fully um, loaded, I guess. Those are words that I used. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. 
what's wrong? Why do I go somewhere else and drink coffee on the couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye, con- eye contact with other people? Oh, why would I go? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't coming up and sitting and coming is going isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he's much very but he is much very within my personal zone dad and what's the accurate when I when you have a dirty mug isn't there a bin do you go and set it on up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibilities that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and nowhere and out of sight and now you're the jerk that left their mug? Dad, are you just afraid of meeting new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. <sighs> oh, it's my husband. Hey, it's my husband. Okay, guys, the game has been saved. I think we're going to leave it here. <clears throat> my throat is hurting my behind. I'm going to leave this video here. If you liked it, comment, like, subscribe for more content. I might do a double upload. Who knows? It's just how it is. I might do a double upload. I'm not sure. I might do another game. I might do Happy Wheels again. But anyways, if you guys like this video, just, you know... Stay tuned for more. It's all the closure you can get. This is saving. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.